Hello everyone, welcome to the demo of e-commerce MVC. E-commerce MVC is an e-commerce based project developed with the help of ASP.NET MVC framework. So in this video, I will try to describe some of its features and functionality and how you can use its source code to set up your own project. E-commerce MVC has two very distinct parts. One is front end or more specifically user end and the other one is dashboard panel for administrators. So let's start with the front end. This is the home page of the front end. At the top, we have carousel slider. This can be configured from the dashboard panel. Then we have the list of most recently added or updated products. The number of products shown can also be configured from the dashboard panel. Each product is posted in a specific category. So this allows users to search by selecting categories. When a category wise search is performed, all the product from that category and its subcategories are also displayed. At this point, I would also like to mention the page URLs. Notice the page uh, URL contains category name. We have used customized URLs for all the pages in e-commerce MVC. And we have also included meta tags for SEO purposes. Um, let's go to the product detail page. This is product detail page. It is very rich, like it contains product slider. This product slider contains all the product pictures. Then we have product description. Product description can contain paragraph, headings, lists, and other HTML tags. This information can be added from dashboard panel. Then we have comment section. User must be logged in to leave their comments. So let's log in. Now user can select their ratings and then write their comments. If user want to add this product to cart, we have two options for this one at the top and then another one is at the bottom with the price. User can change quantity add to cart. Notice the cart icon at the right side of top menu. If you click on it, it will display all the products that are present in your cart. Let's click on checkout. This is the checkout page. It will display all the products that are present in your cart. You can change their quantity. It will also display this discount and delivery charges. These two can also be configured from our configuration screen. I have described about this in the documentation here in the configuration part. Let's click on next. Then we have delivery information. In the delivery information, user will need to write all this information. If user is not logged in, all of these will be empty. If user is logged in, it will be populated. Let's click on next. Then we have payment methods. User can select any of these and administrators can enable or disable any of these payment methods. Let's use pay via credit card. Okay, so we have this card information here. This information is handled by authorized.net payment gateway. So none of this information is stored on our servers or any of the um, database. I have enabled a sandbox account. Actually, I will uh, create another video for authorized.net and I will also add that in, uh, video in the configuration screen documentation. Okay, so you can find more detail about it in the configuration page. Let's go back. I have enabled the sandbox account so I can test any transaction or orders. So let's go and add some information here. Let's click on submit. If the pay payment processing is successful, this message box will appear. And when the user click on OK, he will be redirected to tracking screen. On this screen, user can see the current status of their order, their order details, and their shipping details. User can also print invoice of their order. All of this information can also be found in the user profile. Let's go there. In user profile, user can update their information 
their passwords user can change their avatar from avatar tabs and user can also see their orders each order will have tracking link their current status order amount and the place on that user can search by um, order status and user can also see their comment history each comment will contain their rating stars and the link to that product user will also have the option to delete their comments let's go to the footer of the page all the information that are shown in the footer is also configurable uh, the information about this is also present in our configuration screen these links about us pages contact us pages are also developed already and you can simply edit their content in the content views the social media links are also configurable from the web.config file as described in the configuration let's go to the dashboard panel obviously the um, dashboard panel is only authorized to be viewed by administrators so user with administrative rights or administrative role are allowed let's log in user with administrative right will see this dashboard link let's click on it this is the main page of dashboard panel on this page we have basic demographic of our system we have 24 categories products orders roles users and comments on the left side we have a global menu let's click on categories when you click on categories it will list all the categories that are present in our system you can create new category or edit any already existing categories you can also mark any category as featured these featured categories will be displayed to the users in our top menu here so all of these are featured categories let's cancel it let's go to products so these are the products that are existing in our system you can search by specific categories as well or you can also create and edit products so let's edit this product so this is the product screen on the product screen you can select the product category product name price summary and then we have the description box the description box is text editor styled it is using ck editor you can provide any custom html for this from here like headings list and other html tags product also has this featured mark feature checkbox if you featured any mm, product it will be displayed to the users when they click on any product in the right sidebar so all of these are featured products in the right sidebar user can also add any number of product pictures all of these product picture will be displayed in the top slider here and notice you can also add product uh, related videos from YouTube or other places you, you also have the option to set any picture as your thumbnail image let's click on cancel and now let's go to the order screen so these are all the orders you can also search by order status or you can simply go to detail of any product or any order let's go to this one delivered details you can see the order status order details and customer and shipping detail and then order history you can also update the order status refunded and other information add other information and update status user will see all of this information in the tracking screen let's go up and click on comments so this is the comments screen on this screen user will, administrator will be able to see all the comments made by users and they can delete any comments if they are abusive they can also see their ratings for each product or they can uh, use this search form here
you can also see all the users that are registered in the system you can also search with particular roles so we have only one administrator and two users let's also click on this one more detail of the user here you can see all the information regarding about any user you can also see their roles and you can assign any particular roles to them or you can delete their existing roles you can also check their order history and the comments made on any products administrator have administrators has the right to delete any comments if they find it abusive let's go to the role screen this is the role screen here you can also search with any role name you can also see the number of users that are assigned to any particular role you can also create more roles from here let's go to the more details of this role here you can update the role name or delete particular role and you can also see all the users with any particular role let's go to, to the configurations so here are all the configurations you can see currency symbol configuration dashboard record size per page and the description for most configuration is provided here or you can find the uh, description about each configuration in the documentation okay so this was the front end and the dashboard let's go to the source code when you buy this project you will get the complete source code of this e-commerce MVC and you will be able to update its name complete name like this one e-commerce MVC the description or the process is described in our configuration here these are all the configurations and we have many layers here we are we have e-commerce data e-commerce entities e-commerce services shared and e-commerce MVC we are using entity framework code first approach for this so you can simply just uh, write your entities here in the entities uh, module and the database uh, e-commerce context is uh, in, inside e-commerce dot data module and let's also talk about the e-commerce DB initializer we are adding all these roles in the seed method roles users and other information like categories and configurations I have described about this uh, code structure in documentation you can go to code structure and here is the code complete code structure of each project okay and I have also uh, add, mm, given complete details about each page we have in the e-commerce MVC you can go to pages front-end or dashboard you can find complete details about each page okay I hope you like the mm, project I will mm, add links to our online demo and purchase e-commerce MVC in the uh, documentation and if you have any questions related to this project, you can email me at sajadarifgul at gmail.com. I hope you like the software. Thanks for watching. Bye.